if you ever feel like you're giving and giving and the people around you just keep taking, keep watching. I'm about to share a perspective that just might be a game changer for you. By the way, I'm Michael Ravenwood, and I'm an empowerment coach that throws real lightning bolts. So if you're tired of the life you're living and you'd like to completely change your experience in 90 days, use the link in the bio or message me. So the reason I'm making this video is because from the time I was a child, my mom always told me, Michael, you've got a heart of gold. And what she helped me deal with later on is that a heart of gold can kind of be heavy. It means you're frequently taking care of the needs of the people around you and not necessarily thinking about what you need. Now this can lead to two different circumstances, neither of which is good. One is you end up around a bunch of people who notice that you're giving a lot and they just keep taking. The other is that you keep giving and giving even though the people around you aren't necessarily asking and you then feel resentful because you don't get your needs met and you don't quite know why. And as I've become more and more self-aware, I've come up with strategies for both. Since giving is kind of my default and I just love helping out, it feels really good to me, I didn't stop giving. I just kind of put giving in its place. Meaning that, particularly in new relationships, I just start out giving. I stay generous on the front end, but then I watch. And I've found that most people want to be symbiotic. They want to help out in return. And so they'll be like, oh, wow, thanks, that's so awesome. If you ever need anything, you let me know. Or, hey, uh, I've got this, would you enjoy this? Those kind of people I keep around. Then there are the other kind of people. You'll notice pretty soon that they're like, oh wow, that's awesome, oh wow, thanks. What else you got? Now, it might not be that obvious, but if you're really watching, it'll be apparent. Some people have been trained to understand reciprocity and to be mutually beneficial and what might be called symbiotic. Whereas others have only been trained to look out for their own interests, being, in a way, parasitic. And now in my life, I just take the perspective that symbiotes are invited to stay and parasites are just not invited. Now it has to be said that it's not always as simple as all that. We have relationships within our blood family which we might start to notice uh, are a little bit parasitic. Or we might have a relationship which ebbs and flows and the person just goes in and out of a state of being somewhat afraid or nervous in their life and so they are able to offer less. Here it becomes important to make sure that those relationships that we're investing in, those we're bothering maybe to explain to the person how we're feeling around them, are those which overall are worth keeping. Those in which the other person has also demonstrated a willingness to accept their own faults and flaws, just as you have accepted your own. Now to address the other side of the problem, where we might feel resentful not because other people are being parasitic, but because we ourselves are forgetting to take care of our own needs. There, we may need to become aware of how giving may have become a reflex for us. We may need to become aware of how feelings of guilt may be arising from limiting thoughts that we have ourselves. Because if we're having trouble getting our own needs met, we have to take ultimate responsibility for that. So it is both by taking ownership over the responsibility to take care of ourselves and noticing whether or not anybody else around us is thinking about us as well, we can find harmony and balance in our relationships. So if you found anything I said in this video inspiring in any way, or you'd like to transform your life in 90 days, use the link in the bio or message me.